Hello everyone, Man's Not Out here from Epicbot. Today I'm going to show you how to create your very first account, download the client, log into the client, and run your very first script. So to start off, you'll want to make your way to epicbot.com. Once you go to this webpage, you'll want to make your way to the forms. Once you hit that, you click sign up in the top right hand corner. You fill out all of this information. Once you do that, you will make your way back to the epicbot.com. Once you're here, hit download in the top you will scroll down just a little and if you have Windows Linux and Mac you can download this client first off if your Windows is 64-bit hit the 64-bit download once this is finished downloading you want to open it up you notice that it is a zip file so you'll first want to make sure you extract so you put it anywhere that you desire So, you s once it is finished extracting, you should get a folder that looks like this, Epic Bot Loader 1.0. Open that folder up, and you should get this, a JRE folder, config, Epic Bot, and Epic Bot Loader. Double click Epic Bot, and it should pull this up. Here you can open the folder to see all your script settings, mouse settings, things like that. You can join the Discord through here, join the forums, which you should beyond by now but uh, you can also change the heap size so in the heap size that will depend on how many bots you want to run so the more bots you run the higher the heap size you want to set you will hit launch and it should pull up this once you hit launch and you pull this up you will you will log in to your account that you have created through the forms and you can only log in with the forms account through EpicBot. You cannot use your RuneScape login, it will not work. So you have to go to the forms and make your own account there. Once that's done, it should look like this. Here we'll start from the top. This is the home page. So this is what will be on the home page. This is to add a bot. You can set up your own proxies and that's how you will run it. Um, here is your proxy manager. So you can add different proxies. So your different address, different ports, username and password if needed. Uh, next is the account manager. So in the account manager, you add account, you type in the RuneScape account username, account password, bank pin if it has one, preferred world, and if it's a member or not member. And then here is all your settings. So it's your general, initial window width, height, and also you can change your script, uh, Dex Webwalker, API key, and your secret. And next is the mouse settings. What's great about this client is you can change and customize your profiles. So if you have a looting script, which is in here, you can customize your own profile so you have a faster mouse movement. So it goes all the way down through here. and you you can send your mouse settings to other people. So let's go ahead and start up our first script. So you hit that add bot since I wasn't running a proxy. Once you do that, you hit script start. And here are all the scripts that are out right now. This is when you will need to make an account through your account manager. So you'll exit out of there, go here. Here is a test account to use. So once I have entered the username, the password, I just hit add account and see how it's added into the account manager now. Once that's done, I hit start, start my script and I select what I want to do. So I will start off with Pro Tutorial Island made by Koala. And here is where you select which account you want it to run on. So here I will use this account, your mouse profile. I usually always set mine to normal, but it also depends on what script I'm using. After that, I hit start script. Okay, now that it's here, starter item options. Keep items, drop items, bank items. So let's keep them. Do I want to walk to bank? Yes. Grand exchange, random mouse character, disable roofs, set fixed mode, disable audio. Then you hit start. Once it's here, it will choose a random display name that Koala has uniquely picked out for everyone. So once that happens, see, 
it just types in username, decides if it's available, and I'll set name. So let me turn this down a little because it's kind of loud. So here is the randomizer happening. So it's going through and picking a random unique character for us. And so I am, my mouse is not touching anything. So we'll let this go through. So when, once this happens, it will go step by step through each thing and it will disable my audio, disable roofs, go through the whole dialogue, everything. I see it randomly picks if I'm brand new. I'll pick if you're experienced as well. I'll change it to fixed mode. Advanced options, make sure it's disabled. And it turns off all the audio. So here I will fast forward through the rest of this. Now that we are at the GE, it should stop itself. Now that it has stopped, all you are free to go and bought whatever you like. All you would have to do is hit start, and it will pull up all the scripts, and you, you pick what you want to start botting. Enjoy botting. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to go make an account and start botting. Happy botting, guys.